Hey honey, I'm leaving. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. J U Ham. Bam. J U Ham. Bam. You are watching JU Nation Fishing. Hey family and friends, this is JU. Today I'd like to talk to you about the locations where salmon are being caught in my report. If you didn't catch that video, click on this link over here. To help you identify where the salmon are being caught in my report, I've created four logos so far. So if the salmon is being caught downtown, you can see this logo of yours truly. If the salmon is being caught uptown, you're gonna see this logo of Connected Fishing. If the salmon is being caught in the American River, you're gonna see this logo of Pro. If the salmon is being caught in the Feather River, you will see this logo of Rich Rod. If the picture doesn't have a logo, you can assume that it's in the McCullough River or an unknown place for now. So here's this week's report. On Sunday, I got an awesome opportunity to go fishing with a local fisherman gone fishing without. I'm so excited brothers, they're my ride right there, here comes my ride. Coming, man, she move out a spot for you. <laughs> All right, what's happening, brothers? Woo! Yeah, I bought my little toys and everything, man. Alex, man. How you doing, brother? How you doing, man? We fished for four hours, trolling by the uptown area. We marked a lot of fish, but no one was catching anything. Only one person that we know of caught something during that four hour span. Monday, I'm downtown fishing by the oak tree with four other anglers for three hours in the evening. At the incoming tide, uh, we didn't land anything either. Tuesday, I fish another three hours in the cold and I haven't landed a salmon from shore yet. So I'm going to keep on putting in my time. I'm going to let you guys know uh, the statistics and how I do the remaining of the week. Thank you for coming along with me in this journey. something <laughs> the camera's on <laughs> spotlights on you 
Nice, nice. Oh, oh man. Oh, that's a beautiful looking bass. Look at that. Another bass. All right, man. Look at that. Another bass, guys. We are going right through the Delta Cross Channel into the Sacramento River now. We are going to be trolling for salmon in the Sacramento River. This morning we changed in the McCullough River, caught two bass, so we didn't get skunked. <laughs> but now we're going for what we want really is salmon. Trolling in the Sacramento River. Hey families and friends, this is J.U. I'm fishing with Max today, trolling the Sacramento River. I'm trolling my own stuff, he's trolling Silvertron. Just hang around with us, we'll see how we do. We're about to cross the Walnut Grove Bridge. Come closer, I can throw these to you. Let me see if I can throw right into there. Alright guys, take care brother. Alright, brother. All right, have a good one. All right, all right, my brother over there on shore, they got a 10 pound today. They're outdoing us on the boat. Oh, wait a minute. The boat's got three. They got one, so it's three to one today. And doggone it, Max and I didn't get, we got two bass. <laughs> Count for some. Right on, brothers. All right, family and friends, this is J.U. Uh, I've been fishing with Max for the whole day today. We fished at McCullough River. We jigged from probably about seven to about nine. And we came out here to Sacramento River and we drove back and forth. And now it's probably about three o'clock. So nine to three. Man, we worked hard, but uh, yeah. you know, we didn't see anything. We heard three boats got three and one guy from the oak tree, oak tree got a 10 pounder. One of my uh, JU Nation brothers. That's pretty much it. So, you know, the fish are here in the river system. We see about three seals working this, or three sea lion working this area really, really well. Maybe they ate all the salmon. <laughs> so we didn't get any. Yeah, it was fun out there. Yeah, but we try, you know, and it's all about fishing. And, you know, we catch is a bonus. It's a, it's a fantastic day to be out enjoying the outdoors. So come and get yours, man. You never know, all right? Until the next time, family. Peace out. Hey family and friends, this is J.U. Once again, I'm on the connected fishing machine. You know what that is, right? I'm with TC. My brother, trying to get some uh, good footage for you guys. And I've al I'm also here with uh, the Cameron Twin Fishing. I've never fished with them before, but I got one of them. Maybe it's better half, I don't know. But Forrest is with me. <laughs> uh, what I wanted to let you guys know is that, you know, there are many ways to catch salmon. You know, I'm really into the self-defense, right? So catching salmon is kind of like that, bro. You get Ron Masahiro, he's kind of like karate, you know? And you got, bam, salmon, fish on. Now you got uh, Jason, real life fisherman, you know? Now you see me, now you don't. We got American Ninja, like bam, fish on. Now you got TC, you know, a little Kung Fu going on. Woo, bam, you got fish on, right? So what's Che Yu style? I just hop on the boat, <laughs> catch salmon. So anyway, the key idea is try to catch salmon. There are a lot of different ways. I'm going to share with you guys how we do it on a connected fishing machine, all right? Like I said, there are many ways to do it, but this is how we do it on a connected machi uh, fishing machine. So follow along. I hope you enjoy the show. Peace out, guys. So all right, I'm going to show you how the connected fishing machine does the Silvertron spinner on this. So what he's got here is a three ounce, okay? He got a three ounce sinker and he's connecting it to this little tornado flasher uh, holder, weight holder. He's got look like about two feet of bumper line, looks like about 150 pound test right here. Then he's got this huge big old spinning flasher Yakima bait look like an 8 inch maybe or 10 inch it's a 10 inch 
Then after that, he's connected about maybe two and a half feet of leader, 30 pound test line, and a Silvertron flasher. So I'm gonna let it out. And it's a little bit trick to, to let this out. If you let it out too fast, you get all kinds of twists. I learned that, all right? So we're gonna let it out real slowly. I'm gonna drop the tail in first, drop the uh, Silvertron spinner in first, make sure that it works in the water right there. And then once it works, I'm gonna drop the weight down and slowly, slowly I'm gonna let it out. And right now I'm gonna let this out 75 feet. So I'm gonna let it out slowly, slowly, until it gets out to 75 feet. So the key idea is don't get it tangled up, all right? So now you can see right there, there's a count on it. I'm letting it out slowly. 39, 40, 42. This one I'm gonna let out 75 feet. Put it back into the rod holder and double check to make sure that the line is nice and tight. <laughs> All right, that's how the Silvertron is run in a connected fishing machine. I'll bring up the other one, the cut plug. Uh, this is how he does it in this boat here. All right, I'm gonna show all the rookies, right? I myself am a rookie. So I'm gonna show it to all the rookie, okay? So don't kind of judge me on the name of these things. I'm gonna name it the way I know how to say it. And I don't know all those technical mumbo jumbo name. I'm gonna tell you the way J.U. says it, right? So this is the way, here's another one. This is a cut plug. So he's got this little, it looked like a splitter, you know, a little short bus flasher weight holder about a foot or so down, he's got a big, all right, check this out guys, 10 ounce sinker, okay, 10 ounce sinker. Once again, another bumper. And it's important that you have these, a lot of these little swivels here. See, because you're gonna get a lot of line twists when all these things are flying down there. All right, so here's, here's like a ball, it's a ball chain, look like ball chain swivel. Then he's got this big old, uh, they, I think he calls it license plate. Yeah, I'm gonna, it's just a big old flasher. Pro Tro right here. And he's got like a little brake release here so that when you catch a fish, this thing pops out and then all you're doing is find a fish. And once, along, uh, once again, he's got this leader and he ties his own little two hooks in the end here, guys, right here. All right? Now, now he bumped it up to 40 pound test line and I'm gonna tell you a little story why in a little while, why he's 40, 40 pound test line, all right? So here you go. And it's Cheyu's job in this boat is to fill this baby up with this delicious tuna. So I'm going to show you how it's done once again. And you can watch it on his channel. He's got a really detailed way of doing it. I'm just kind of repeating what he says because I'm going to do it short to all the rookies, right? So you guys are rookie like me, this is how you do it. But if you want to really do it really the way it's supposed to be done, you go to TC's Connected Fishing website. He's got a really detailed way to show you guys how to do it. So I'm going to grab a ball of these little tuna. Okay, I'm going to unhook this right now. All right. And uh, clear out this old mumbo jumbo thing here. And the way that TC does it is that he packed, he packed this little center part right here down really tight. All right. So he packs it down real tight. And what I'm doing right now, what I'm showing you guys you can get the same information from his site. Matter of fact, I, if you're a professional, I, I, I recommend you go to his site. But if you're a rookie, then you can do it on my site. Because <laughs> this is the way do I interpret how he does it. All right? So he kind of clears it out. And this part right here, he keeps it um, so that you can close this really tight like this. Okay, there's no gap in between. And then you bring this back. And the way he likes to do it is he likes to bring this hook pointing straight up like that. And I don't know how they tie this hook, so you're gonna have to look at the way they do it, but this is how it's done like that. All right? And now, it's, and then he's gonna put, oh, here you go, guys. Secret sauce, a fish oil krill. All right? Spray it in here. All 
All right. Now. Okay. All right. This is how we do it, guys. So, and what he also taught me too is you grab, you grab this weight first. This is a dangerous part. Grab the little 10 ounce thing first before you drop this baby down. So when you drop it down, make sure that it works really well before you start releasing anything, all right? So you look at it, observe it in the water. Make sure that it swims really well out there and it's creating all kinds of motion, right? Then you use your counter and you drop it down until you feel the bottom. All right, like I said, everybody's got their own little style, right? This is Kung Fu style. TC connected fishing style, brothers. So you hit this bottom. Okay, you hit the bottom once, you let it out. Let it hit the bottom once again. And then the second time, and then you click it, put the clicker back on, you put it back in this little fishing pole holder, then you sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. And when you get a fish on, you'll see what I mean. And do we get a fish on today? Check out this clip, guys. See what's going on, whether it works or not, all right? And I'll tell you why we decided to switch over to the 40 pound test line. So enjoy the show, fellas. Once again, thank you very much for watching my channel. A lot of good fishing videos out there. I don't know guys, you guys watch my channel. I do appreciate that very much. All right, have a blessed day. Have a blessed weekend, guys. Hey family, this is JU. I'm gonna call it quits for the day. I was so very blessed to be fishing with a connected fishing machine, TC, and a new uh, newly brother that I met in Christ is awesome. Uh, you know, it's, it's all about fishing, and I didn't miss that huge <laughs> big fish. 10 o'clock, man. I show you guys the where the line snap. That's a 30 pound test line, brothers. So it's very awesome, all right. And uh, like once again, guys. So many good fishing, fishing videos out there. I do appreciate you guys checking out my channel, as always, all right? Until the next time, God bless you. Have a great weekend. Peace out.